let's go hands-on with macOS Mojave Beta 6. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew from Apple Insider, and like I mentioned, we've got Beta 6 of macOS Mojave installed on our new MacBook Pro. First up this time around is Setup Assistant and Migration Assistant. These got a pretty big overhaul this time around that makes it a lot easier to switch from a Windows PC. There's a whole lot more data that they're actually capable of transferring over, including documents, emails, contacts, calendars, and system accounts. We don't happen to have a Windows PC lying around to test this, so we don't know the full extent of what it's capable of, but it sure is more capable than what it was in the past. If you happen to be on the beta, we'd still recommend holding off before actually using this tool as it is in beta and you really don't want to take the risk with a lot of sensitive information. Next up, we're going to jump into the Home app. Now the Home app is brand new in macOS Mojave and it's more or less a port of the iOS app over on the iPad. One thing that we noticed right away that may or may not just be a bug is we aren't able to swipe between rooms any longer before you could and now no longer seems to be the case. But the bigger change has to do with the backgrounds. You notice in a lot of the different rooms, or in the room as, or as the home as a whole, there's these really nice, simple backgrounds that Apple has included for us. And there were several of them that you were able to choose from. Well, unfortunately, those seem to be removed in the latest beta. If you go either into one of the rooms or into the home as a whole, and then go up to the top and go to edit, you can edit the room or the home. When you scroll down, you'll be brought to the wallpapers, but instead of the ones that we're used to seeing, we have three new ones, three simple gradients in yellow, blue, and green, and they seem to be replacing what we currently had. And at least right now, they don't seem to sync between macOS and iOS. They're still stuck on whichever platform you set them. You're still able to choose your own background images, but it still seems a bummer because the new ones are kind of boring. Let us know if you found anything else new and cool inside of macOS Mojave Beta 6. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.